Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming this look, um, well, eyes and lips. Um, I'm playing with some Black Moon Cosmetics products. So Black Moon were really, really generous. I reached out to Kat and I and they said, hey, we want to send you something. What do you want to try? And we were like, everything. Um, not really. We, we were like, we want to try the Black Metal Liquid Lipsticks. Um, because desperate to try them for eyeliner um, and they sent us a massive package um, they sent us the black metals they sent us some of the little moons the mini moons they contain matte liquid lipsticks they sent us the I think it's the full moon palette and the black metal palette um, I took home the black metal cat kept the uh, full moon. They also sent us a couple of brushes. I have one here. This is Okay, it doesn't have a name or a number, but it's a packing brush now I'm not using this one in the video. I'm very sorry um, But I did a look that encompassed all of the eyeshadows in the palette and you guys know I have little eyes and I wanted something that would allow a lot of control and detail work so I skipped this one but what I can tell you is they are synthetic so they're going to be cruelty free and the hairs are really really soft and smooth they feel silky which is lovely before I get into the look uh, just so you guys know what the shades look like in the palette I am going to swatch them for you this one is castle then we have Armageddon and sorrow then we have immortal myth this one is eternal oh jesus christ these are beautiful and the last two shades are emperor and abracadabra so abracadabra is sort of the topper sparkly shade um, but you can see it's got sort of like a pale pinky lavender tint. I may as well swatch the liquid lipsticks that I have. So these are the metallic ones. These are, I think they're the black metal um, metallic matte liquid lipsticks. It's not often that I swatch liquid lipsticks like this. I'm having a hard time. Uh, so this one is called Deville. This one is Immortal. Then we've got Myth. And the last of the metallics that I have is Castle. The matte liquid lipsticks that I have in the Mini Moon. Now these are a standard liquid to matte. Um, I'll swatch these. I've got Libra, Morning and Bones. This is the shade Libra. Oh my God, too close, too close. This one, oh my God, I can't see what I'm doing. And I've got no depth of field with the camera. Let me situate myself. This one is called Morning, I think. Oh my God, help. Yes, it is called Morning and that's a terrible swatch. I'm very sorry. And this one is Bones. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna swatch this one down here, guys, because clearly you can see I'm struggling. All right, that is Bones there. So that's a really cool, like, grayish shade. All right, no more swatching. That's what we've got to work with. Now let's chuck this on my face. Before I jump into the black metal palette, I do just want to lay down like a matte sort of transition shade. I'm going to use a Makeup Geek Caramel Coffee palette and I'm going to take the shade mm, Cream Brulee, which is this one here. Okay, I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I'm kind of thinking something along the lines of this in a gradient across the eyes. Mm, maybe if I'm going to use three on one eye, do I want to use three on the other eye? I think that's what I'm doing. Look, let's do it. So the shade names are on the back of the palette. I'm not going to pick up this palette each time that I want to use it. I'll just put a little picture of the palette in the bottom corner and let you guys know which shade is currently being used out of the palette. But I'm just going to go for this. Let's just have some makeup application music and chill and see how these apply.
Okay, I'm going to do another little dust of uh, creme brulee. I think on the side where I've used the blue, uh, that blue is very difficult to blend. Whereas on this side, the green um, and the gold that I use sort of over the main part of the eye, that was a bit more easy to work with. Um, so I'm just going to see if a little bit of matte can sort of soften that up. If not, it is what it is. Oh, damn. I think I got a little speck of blue in that pink. And, um... You can see how intense it is. It's just like all it takes is one little speck and you can see it. Right, I have some, I believe these are um, black, black metals. So these are the liquid to matte lipsticks. I've got... Oh my god. I've got Immortal, which looks to be a purple. I have Deville, which I believe was a red. There we go. And I have the shades Myth, which is a green, and Castle, which is a sort of gunmetal grey. Um, I think I have to go the purple and the red. And if you thought I was going to use them on my lips, you couldn't be more wrong. I'm going to use them as eyeliners. God, they smell amazing. Kind of got like a caramelly vanilla scent. Oh, yum. Wings are on. I'm going to finish off the eyes like, um, you know, tight line mascara, put on some lashes. I'll come back and put on a lip and then we'll do final thoughts. Have I got lipstick here or is that just my skin? Maybe my skin. Let's try their lip products. So these are one of the, um, the little moons. What, what are you called? Mini moon. It's a mini moon. So I did swap out some of these colors with Kat. Um, I got like a, I suppose a light and medium and slightly deeper nude. So the shades I have are Bones, Morning and Libra. I think I'm going to go Libra. For a bit of extra dimension, I'm going to take the shade Morning. Alright, let's do some thoughts on the products. So, the palette. The shades in here are gorgeous. The formula is so rich and they have really good grip. So they pick up really well on a brush. Um, and when you lay them down, they just grabbed the eye. They're really rich and punchy, which is great. Um, I do think some of them are a little bit difficult to blend if you want to go for like a full metallic eye. Not something I usually do, but if you like to do that, um, some of them, like the blue, it just needed a little bit of um, love when I was blending it. Needed a bit more time. But that was fine. They're beautiful. I think I want to pick up their um, all matte palette, which was the, was it the full moon palette? I think that's what it's called. Um, I think I would like to add that to my collection. Really like these. Um, there is a shade in here. Uh, which one? It's this one. And it's called, I think it's Eternal. Um, that surprised me when I look at the color on the finger and if I compare it to the other sort of coppery red which is Armageddon so it's that one there I feel like um, Eternal looks a bit more raspberry and um, the Armageddon has a 
bit more purple tones to it but when they go on the eye um the eternal shade is really like it looks red and rich and vibrant so that's that's fun I like that you guys know how I feel about reds but I'm really keen to continue playing with this do some like matte looks with just sparkle on the eyelid with these shades I do think that they do like they have this really beautiful um sparkle effect to them they're not just metallic they like shimmer and shine and they sparkle and it's beautiful and for those people who are loving the spajarkle word at the moment that's exactly what they do they spajarkle the metallic liquid lipsticks now obviously I use these as a liner and what I can say is they have they go on really nice and smooth which is great I did find Deville which is the red shade it went on a little bit um, not as opaque and rich in some areas it required some building but it's set it's on there which is really nice it hasn't transferred when you know I've applied it and then opened my eyes it hasn't sort of gone up into my crease which is great um, the dry time on it is not too long um, the shade immortal which was the purple that was much more rich I did have to build it in a few spots but it just went on a little bit more opaque but that's fine because they're they're liquid lipsticks like you know they black moon have said um you can use uh these as a liner if you want to you can totally multi-purpose them which is why i decided to do it and they're beautiful colors um but they are designed ultimately for the lip and you don't want something going on the lip really thick and heavy because it's just it's not gonna look good it's better to have nice thin layers where you might build it up just where you need it but as eyeliners i think they work quite well i will update in the description box how they wore for the time that i'm wearing them something i'm really excited to do with these is just have a completely nude eye and use these as a pop of color they do have beautiful sparkle they're not as sparkly as the eyeshadows but i wasn't expecting that um, but that also helps to contrast between, you know, sparkly eyeshadow and the liner. They do have reflect and they do have sparkle. It's just not as intense. The matte liquid lipsticks, they have set completely, which is great. Um, they're comfortable, which I like. The formula goes on really thin. It's slightly moussey, kind of, um, or... Can we call it a liquid mousse? That's kind of how it feels. Um, but they go on smoothly, very opaque. Now that I've got those two shades on there and they're set, I am going to take Bones, which is sort of a grey tone, and I'm going to see how they blend um, putting a wet shade over a set shade. The answer is really well. Um, so you saw that shade is really quite light in comparison to the other ones that I was wearing. Sometimes when you put a matte liquid lipstick over a set matte liquid lipstick, the because they're, it's like the same formula and like will break down like. So like oils break down oils matte liquid lipstick will break down a matte liquid lipstick um, sometimes it will lift the color underneath it will chunk it up or ball it up and you kind of you ruin the application sometimes they can only be applied and blended wet in this case they've gone this shade's gone on beautifully it's blended beautifully it hasn't lifted anything it's not patchy 
it's gorgeous. Again, I'll update you on how this wears, how it feels. I will wear these for a few more hours. There'll be a lot of talking done because I've got to film another video. Um, but so far, so good. And I think the only thing letting me down is the skin. So that's it for my little Black Moon first impressions try on. Um, I've got to say, my expectations of Black Moon Cosmetics was pretty high. I've heard good things about the brand and the products. Um, and I actually feel like the products exceeded my expectations a little bit, especially the palette. I did expect the palette to be nice, but I think it's exceeded my expectations a little bit. And I... I want the matte one. I think I'm going to buy it. And look, I've got to say a massive thank you to Black Moon Cosmetics for sending these out because um, I got a lot of makeup. I spend a lot of money on makeup and sometimes it can be really difficult to sort of take the plunge, take the risk and buy something from a brand that you've never experienced before. And it's just really nice when things are really nice, when the products are high quality. So Black Moon, they're even more on my radar now. I have full confidence in them. And if they're going to be releasing any other palettes with color stories that speak to me, I wouldn't be afraid to purchase them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments about Black Moon. Have you tried any of their products? Do you like them? Let me know how you feel and what you've tried and what your suggestions are or recommendations of purchasing because I might go purchase some more. That's it guys. I'm going to wrap it up. I will see you in the next one. Bye.